Now we have crews out looking at the damage. I want to turn things over to Ron Jones, who is live in LJ. And Ron, it looks like a significant storm impacted that community overnight last night. Absolutely. So you say we're catching a break right now. However, Georgia Power is not catching a break at all. This is Ellington Road. This is one of the severe hit areas here up here in LJ. You can see crews are trying to remove a lot of debris, a lot of damage along this roadway. But here's the other issue that we're dealing with. 1,000 people without power up here in LJ. You can see some of those uh, poles tilted to the right or to your left on your screen because a lot of the power lines came down as well. The good thing about this, though, is along this road as far as we know no injuries to report but as you can see a lot of heavy damage chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb was talking about this late last night around 11 o'clock he was showing us right there on the radar as a tornado was beginning ready to move into LJ and to give us that side of the story uh, 11 lies Brittany Klein Peter she's not too far from where I'm standing right near where a home has been destroyed Brittany what can you tell us Hey, Ron, so we are not too far from the downtown square, not too far from you as well. We are right in the middle of several homes on Ellington Road. The homes I'm standing in right now are kind of the worst of what we're seeing along this roadway. There's a lot of metal roofing in the area, um, some debris around the homes. I'm not sure where the roofing has come from. There's a storage facility nearby as well as a forestry commission office, but we've got a basketball goal down. You're going to hear some chickens rooster. I'm not sure if they were in an enclosure that was damaged in all of this, but this is just a glimpse of what we're seeing. We spoke to the two gentlemen that live in these homes you're looking at. One of them tells me that he just had a gut instinct that he needed to go somewhere else. That's the home you're looking out on the right side. He left, went with his wife somewhere uh, closer to downtown. His brother, however, stayed. He stayed through that storm last night and he shared his story with us. I heard it whistling. It wasn't the, the lightning and a bunch of thunder, but all of a sudden it started whistling, and it, it just wrapped around the house right there. And I told my wife I got in the house. I told her, let's hunker down. And we hunkered down, and it, it just, it, it was over within about 20 minutes. This area, once again, we're on is Ellington Road at Old Highway 5 in LJ. It also houses the office for the Georgia Forestry Commission, their Gilmer office. We spoke with officials there. They're working to clean up that office as we speak. I'm going to have more from them coming up in the next hour, but county officials shared with me they're looking at about between 8,000 and 10,000 residents without power. They do expect that number to climb throughout the evening as they continue continue to assess the damage, but they're asking residents to continue to be patient and work with them throughout the evening. For now, I'm going to send it back to you guys reporting in Gilmer County. Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News. All right, Brittany, thanks a lot. Stand by. We're going to come back to you later on in the broadcast. So that's how things look up here in North Georgia as people are still trying to pick up the pieces. We're going to head down to southwest Atlanta where there is major damage as well. That's where we find 11 Alive's Erica Murphy with more. Erica. Ron, we're here on Cherokee Avenue Southeast and Millage uh, Avenue Southeast near Atlanta's Grant Park and Atlanta Zoo, where utility crews have shut off a portion of the road so that they can chop up some trees that have fallen and restore some power lines here. If you take a look at this house behind me up on this hill, you will see that a tree has fallen from this yard onto the street. Now, we did get a chance to talk with homeowners, and they say that around 8 a.m. this morning, a strong storm system made its way through here, tossing trees around and ripping down power lines. One woman says she was caring for her 11 month old grandbaby when the storm hit. I had the baby upstairs um, in my room and I thought I heard something like a, a roaring noise, like a loud, and I didn't know what it was. And I opened the window and I look outside and all I see was trees falling. And um, I just grabbed the baby and from the crib and I tell my daughter, I said, you know, something is happening. Let's run out the house or let's go downstairs. And um, that's what we did. And when we came outside and looked, we saw all these damages. The fence broke, the house upstairs, uh, some wood or something broken. 
And according to 11 Alive's meteorologist, this was the result, all of this damage was the result rather of some strong winds and rain that ripped through this region. We are going to uh, prepare to talk with more people in our next hit of the course. We'll share those experiences with you. Ron, back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Erica. As you know, the ground is oversaturated because of the heavy rain causing these issues with these large trees toppling over. We're going to stay up here in LJ, obviously, try to speak with some more folks, get an update from Georgia Power, and also let you know what's going down there in Atlanta. In LJ, Ron Jones, 11 Alive News. Back to you guys.